So what do you do when your favorite nightgown has so many holes that you've already previously repaired but they're like coming apart because the fabric's so worn out? Well, we mend it on Mondays of course. Welcome back my lovely ladies and gents. Thank you so much for tuning in again today. This one is another um, hashtag Monday mending video because if you didn't already see my last week's video it was about what I have uh, started is Monday mending. Go and see that video if you want to hear more about it. I'll link that down below. You ladies and gents loved it so much. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of responses I got of all of you so excited to have uh, like a reason and a bit of motivation to get all your mending done and really loved the idea of it and wanted to do it too. So it seems it is sticking around and I have actually wanted to do this particular nightgown for a while and I think it will make an interesting video for you to watch. Now I will not be doing a video every Monday, at least not yet anyway, but I will do the more interesting ones that I think will be fun for you to follow along. This nightgown is one of them. If this is your first time hearing about Monday mending, the idea is that everybody has so much mending. Like we put it in a pile and it just sort of sits there and sits there and sits there and it becomes a ginormous mount mend pile and we never get to it. This is what happened to me. So I made it every Monday that I was going to do at least just one item to actually get through my mending and get it done, a bit of uh, motivation to get it done and like see results, see that pile shrink uh, because we do not like to throw things away and sharing about mending makes people realize that they can mend their clothes and get it done as well and it makes it fun for us to follow along so that is why we're doing mending on Monday. Back to my favorite nightgown here. I love this so much. I have actually previously mended this. You can see from these holes here. But the really big issue is that the fabric is just being worn out so much because this is where you lay when you sleep. It's just, it's so thin. Any more little mends I do are just going to tear out like they have here. Like the stitching is not working. Let me show you what the problem is. It's that the fabric is so worn out. I don't know how this will show up on film. But this is like the top around the neckline and this is fabric from the hemline. Can you see the difference? It's just uh, like see-through. You can see why I'm having issues with the fabric uh, basically tearing away from any of the stitches. So what I really need to do is reinforce this area. Here is my plan. I want to actually reinforce this whole area that is like now sort of damaged and coming apart. It's generally only this top at at the part here so I'm going to actually create a yoke and I'm going to sort of line it with a I'll have a look in my stash perhaps a little cotton light fabric and create a yoke that comes all the way down here and it will actually come around the front as well to reinforce this area that is just like really uh, becoming torn and, and not usable anymore. And then not only am I going to reinforce the area, I'm then going to do some visible mending on top to actually kind of uh, fuse the two layers as one, if you will. Uh, not very fancy, but somehow decorative and visible mending stitches on top. I will, first of all, let's start, I'm going to start with the yoke and get that under control first. So I have a lightweight cotton and then I have a really super duper lightweight, <laughs> light, light, super lightweight cotton. I think this one might be a bit too light. I'm going to use this one underneath. I really do want this to be kind of structured. Um, so I feel like this one has a better sort of weight to really hold it for the rest of time. I am now checking the sizing of this and it looks pretty good. I stay stitched around the edges. I'm about to fold those under. I will actually lengthen my little uh, tucks down here so it gets that area that's all needed to be covered. And this will kind of be like a patch on the underside and then I'll stitch over it. So far, looking good. Thank <sighs> you. 
All right, so I have decided to use uh, embroidery floss to do this with. I cut out the yoke and stitched it all together and I have uh, pinned it all on and sort of stitched around the outside of it so that it is now um, forming a, a yoke, as you can see, probably there, around. And so I've decided a little bit decorative. I found just the right color embroidery floss to use. And if anyone has any tips on using embroidery floss and how to not tangle it all the time and separate them, I would love to hear your tips down below. Thank you. So this is all getting hand stitched, which I thought was a fantastic idea at the time. It is taking so long. So <laughs> I kind of knew that, of course, already, but I thought it would be nice to try something different. I haven't really ever done something like this big in this kind of a mend like this before, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. So I am just going to probably keep at this over the next few days. It will definitely turn into Tuesday mending, Wednesday mending, Thursday mending, and just slowly pick away at this to get it finished. So I loved, loved seeing your own mending on your posts if you want to join in and keep yourself accountable. So use the hashtag Monday mending on your own mends. Now it does only work on Instagram uh, so that you can sort of search that term Monday mending. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Facebook. So on Facebook, why not actually post pictures of your mending on my post on Facebook if you follow me there. Put your actual pictures on that post. I think that would be really fun. And on Instagram, use your hashtag Monday Mending. And of course here, just type in down below, tell me what you are going to mend this Monday to keep yourself accountable. And for extra bonus points, come back when you finish mending it, find your comment and comment on that comment and say how good you are for having finished it and completed it. Okay, let's go for a progress report. I've spent a few telephone conversations uh, keeping this mending going. Thus far, I have stitched all around this area and it is taking forever. Maybe a change of plan. Uh, I've followed this neckline in this kind of, um, you know, gradated pattern through here. I think I'm going to change it up and instead maybe do some um, stitching this way through here because this to do all of this will just it's going to take me like forever I mean absolutely forever so uh, I changed it up a bit but uh, it's still going to take a long time to keep doing this so anyway let's keep going and I'll check in and uh, show you my progress in a little bit Oh my gosh, it's finished, finally finished. Can you see this properly? This definitely took longer than I would expect. I am tremendously uh, very happy with how this turned out. I think that it will serve its purpose, first of all. It will, it has uh, structured that area and put an extra layer uh, there and keeping all of the light thin fabric now is like is reinforced and it will be much stronger and it will survive a lot longer. And a number two, of course, it looks decorative. I wanted to kind of challenge myself and do something a little bit different. I wanted to kind of explore the idea that mending doesn't always just have to be functional, but can be decorative and have aesthetic purpose as well. And so that's what I've tried to do here. Let me talk you through it. I did start by doing all of the little running stitches through here. This kind of stitch has a few different names. It depends on, you know, sort of what you're doing. There's a few different versions of the same thing. I'm just going to call it a visible mend. It's basically just a darning stitch or a running stitch uh, woven through the fabric with an embroidery thread. I did a single strand embroidery thread to sort of decorate and embellish as well as the same time strengthen. So that's the only sort of stitch I did on this. My original idea was to go all of the way around this whole uh, area to the end of the yoke, but after this took a million years just to do this bit, 
I changed up my design and I did the heavy stitching all through the really like the uh, area with all the little holes that really needed uh, super duper mending and s more structure put in there and I kind of kept in tune with the, the line of the yoke and I sort of shaped it around as I went smaller stitches through the top and down to bigger stitches down the bottom here so it just kind of flows in that nice shape then I decided to just do some little um, in the opposite direction some running stitches coming across to hold all the yoke there still look a little bit decorative but it took about one 20th of the time it would have to actually then to do the same stitching all the way across and I actually really quite like the the look of it I think it might have been a bit too heavy had I carried on with the uh, close running stitches like this all the way through so I'm really happy with this what I would have done differently I got a little bit carried away a bit too excited when I started <laughs> Uh, I should have cut away all of the little um, knobs of my previous mending and the stitching that was on there. I just, as I said, I just got a bit excited and I just got carried away and started stitching and before I realized that I really should have taken that off first and then there was already new stitches there and so I just uh, went with it and just left them there. The other thing I would have done is uh, again, I think I just got a bit excited trying to put all this on, is I stitched the yoke uh, top and bottom on and then did the decorative stitches. I really, what I really should have done, I don't know why I didn't originally, but uh, stitched it on at the top neckline here, but then left this bottom of the yoke uh, like unstitched, did all of the decorative stitching because that sort of pushes and pulls it slightly in different ways and then stitch the bottom line down here last. That's what I would do if I do this again. Now I would like to say that of course the front matches this perfectly and it's exactly the same and conveniently not show you the front perhaps but it's the yoke is still stitched on the front there is just absolutely zero uh, of those decorative uh, darning stitches across there because well uh, time <laughs> yes so this is my Monday mending. Now, if you are excited by the idea of having a little prompt to kind of help you get your mending done, it's really important that we, you know, take care of our clothes and make them last longer. It's going to make our environment and our planet last longer if we do. So if you want to join in and have a little prompt and a bit of motivation to get your mending done, every Monday we do Monday mending. So it's just to get out one item, at least as one item from your mending pile and get it done. Now, comment below, most importantly, tell me what you are going to or have already mended for this Monday to keep yourself accountable and inspire us all by your great mending work. Like this video if you liked it, and if you haven't actually subscribed to my channel yet already, hmm, maybe consider subscribing if you want to find out anything about vintage sewing and fashion. That's what we do here all of the time. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always, and until next time, bye. There used to be buttons down the front here too, but uh, they long ago disappeared.